PK Park, joined by Robert Alstrom, the starting pitcher for the Oregon Ducks. Seven plus innings, five hits, one run, one walk, nine strikeouts. Now, every Friday night game is big. Every conference game is big. Every rivalry game with Oregon State is big. But this one had a sense like it felt even a little bigger than normal. Did you feel that coming into this one? Yeah, coming into it, I mean, uh, we're going to play the game like we know how, regardless of who's in here. But having Oregon State roll in uh, adds a little extra incentive. Um, and then having fans in the, in the crowd, that kind of elevates it too. So uh, it was a good feeling out tonight. Your stuff wasn't quite the same as it was when you faced them four weeks ago in Corvallis when you knifed your way through seven innings on like 78 pitches. Here was a little bit more tough. You faced a lot of guys on base. What was the difference between this game and the outing down in Corvallis? Yeah, they were able to make adjustments. They weren't chasing off speed early in the count like they were the last time. Um, and then they, I think they took out a couple lefties too. Um, my matchups against the lefties last time was really good. So uh, they made a good adjustment there in the lineup. You were so good with guys on base. How do you do that? Yeah, just when it, uh, when it gets tough, I think um, something throughout our staff is just bearing down um, and minimizing, whether that be a one or potentially getting a zero. And uh, I was just able to make my pitches today, uh, and it worked out in our favor. Hometown kid, you went to North Eugene High School about six miles away from PK Park, and I understand that you would attend these rivalry games here every season. What are some of your memories from those games? Yeah, I mean, I, I was always coming to these, and I, it was a blast watching the players, and I always dreamed about being out on the field one day. And so the fact that I get this opportunity is uh, truly humbling, and it's, a gr it's been a great experience so far. Yeah, and, and how nice was it to, to be able to have fans in the stands, something that we haven't been able to do at these college sporting events very much. Did you have friends and family here? Yeah, yeah, I had to leave a lot of tickets um, for this game. But, yeah, having people in the fans, um, just the energy they bring, uh, kind of elevated the intensity of the game as well. So it was just awesome. Uh, I think our team fed off of it pretty well. Um, hopefully we can do the same coming into game two. Kenyon Yovan, we talked about him at the beginning of the broadcast and the fact that he came to Oregon to be part of the first team in the modern era of Ducks baseball to get to Omaha. He came back this year as opposed to turning professional because of that. How badly do you want that super regional victory and the trip to Omaha this year? Yeah, I think uh, as a team, um, a lot of the guys that had the opportunity to go uh, sign um, came back uh, with a goal in mind, um, trying to change the culture of Oregon baseball. And I think we're off to a good start this year. Um, I mean, it just it means so much to us this year. And the start we're having, we're starting to realize how good of a team we are. And uh, we have an opportunity to do it. And that starts with you on Friday nights. Congratulations on another great game. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Robert Allstrom of the Oregon Ducks. Seven innings, five hits, one run, one walk, and nine strikeouts. And the Ducks win it four to one.